Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Graveyard Radio Show. Yeah, baby. It's your host, Anthony Ryan. Thanks for tuning back in. We're going to be talking about politics today, a few comedy things, and what we got coming for 2016. So sit tight, pack your bowl, and get your bick ready, you little bitch. Because we're about to start this one off. Right now I have a bowl of some blue fucking dream. Hella dank, super good. Whoever grew it took a lot of good care of it. You can tell it's indoor. It has a lot of flakes, a lot of crystals, a lot of THC buzzing around when you take a big fat ass fucking rip of this. And right now I'm about to take it. I just cleaned my piece and hallelujah. Let's go. Cheers everyone because you know it's 420 somewhere. I like to do my breathing exercises before we get everything going. Cheers. Got a fucking fan. Pointed right oh, sorry, down you, Jorge. Sorry. Turn it off, you fucking dickhead. Hold on, guys. <coughs> God damn it, Jorge. You invite a few friends over to the studio and they try to get too comfortable. <coughs> Alright, let me spark this bowl back up. Uh, I appreciate everybody listening, whether that's local or whether that's just around the world. Um, if you ever have something you want me to talk about, just let me know. Send me an email or get in touch with me, and I definitely will go over it. Um, I'm going to be talking about the Iraq War and how we basically just went over there just because of the oil deal. And uh, how that actually just got exposed recently with Russia uh, basically waiting by and getting the intel and bombing. I think it was over 1,200 trucks full of oil that they were trying to evade with. So, mm, it always comes down to business, people. And I'm going to get back to business and rip this bowl without a fan on. Thanks, Jorge. Cheers, everybody. It's New Year, 2016. Uh, I've been asking everyone, hey, what'd you get for Christmas? And, you know, to all the hot women out there, I tell them, oh, hey, I'm sure you got a brand new car, right, Audi? Oh, yeah. I know you did, because you're goddamn beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to hit this bowl. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's how it used to hit. Now, that's how it used to hit right there, baby. You know what is a little (laughs) odd and terrifying, though, I have to add? Is I was watching, I don't know why I was watching it, it kind of just popped up and related. Uh, Guantanamo Bay, um, it had to basically do with Guantanamo Bay's uh, torture habits. And it you could look this up online, um, somebody entered it into the Sundance Film Festival, it's all on YouTube. Um, it basically shows the procedures and the torturing techniques that they use uh, obviously, they sign a waiver, and obviously, they don't go 100%, but they, I would say they went about 70% on them, so maybe 60 Um And just from watching that documentary, it was, uh, to be honest, quite terrifying. Um, they show you uh, how they use white noise tactics to scramble your brain, um, different temperature techniques to get your body going, sweating, vomiting, uh, and they even talk about how they would use doctors to monitor your body so they can hit at your weakest moments and weak points. A um, little terrifying, uh, and I add that because while cleaning my bong uh, today on 12-30-2015, they had a new segment on the delightful Fox News. Um, it was a man saying... Uh, America will find terrorists anywhere. Anyone against that, they will get rounded up and sent to Guantanamo. little terrifying, guys. Come on. Let's all get Harold and Kumar style and just roll up a doobie and smoke my fucking weed. So I was talking to some people about the huge natural gas leak we are currently having out in California, and they were unaware of it. Um, So I'm going to be playing a clip right now 
which was compiled by Environmental Defunds Fund. You can find them on New YouTube. Footage released by the so check this out. Defense Fund offers the first bird's eye infrared view of the natural gas leak at the Aliso Canyon storage facility owned by Southern California Gas Company. The leak, which has been going on since October, is invisible to the naked eye. It's disrupting life in nearby parts of Los Angeles and the San Fernando Valley and pumping 62 million cubic feet of methane into the atmosphere each day. That's bad news for the climate. Bad news for the climate, but good news for those local Pasadena drug addicts. I'm sure they're all over there huffing up that natural gas. That's what we need to start doing, using these drug addicts. Go over there and hail it all, man. Take one for the team. We don't need to breathe it. You do. Okay, and then we need to get all these fucking crackheads, gather them all up from the rehab facilities, and throw them into McDonald's. Have them just shooting out orders. One, two, three, four, five. What would you like? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, I just did the restroom and I'm back. Yep, I'm back from my break. Never mind, I didn't even want to take it. That's how fast they will be. We need to use them and keep it going. And continuing on with keeping it going, let's talk about 2016 and a few things that are coming with it. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, 2016, I will be dropping a lot more content, a lot more interviews, a lot more broadcast, a lot more everything, live show recordings, um, going to be stepping it up a lot more, especially with the more work I get and the more payments I get, I will be investing it more back into the broadcast and entertainment department. Um, this is, as you can clearly tell, if you go on to any of the L.A. or San Diego comedian groups, anything they produce is usually, uh, how can I be nice? Um, it's usually very low budget. And not only that, it's usually, um, you can tell it's usually winged. They usually don't have a topic, subject, list of anything they're going to go over. Um, climax, uh, peak. Um, it's usually just mid-flat. Uh, most of their production work. Um, it's kind of sad. Uh, I do try to collab with as many of them as I can, and I will be doing a lot more with 2016, so definitely look forward to that. And I will be doing several interviews with some very interesting people, and um, yeah, look forward to that because uh, they are really exciting and really entertaining, and um, I'm, uh, I'm excited to release them, to be honest. 2016 is going to fucking kick ass, and I'm going to pack a bowl right now, and finally play the song I did not play. We are going on almost eight minutes in, and I have yet to play any sort of song. So I'm going to pack this bull, hit it, and uh, kick off the song right now. Thanks for listening to the Graveyard Radio Show, G-Y-R-S. Yeah, I straight up fucking lied. Instead of a song, we're going to play a trailer for a 2016 movie, how about that? Let's switch it up. Uh, something you can look forward to, Suicide Squad. All right, guys, pack it, smoke it, and let's have some fun. I was checking some work, but I finally have them. The worst of the worst. Where? Let's just say I put them in the hole and threw away the hole. There's rumors, Amanda, that some of them have abilities. Oh, yeah. I have seen things. Maybe Superman was some kind of beacon for them to creep back from the shadows. I want to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet who I think can do some good. They're bad guys. Exactly. And if anything goes wrong, we blame them. We have built-in deniability. What makes you think you can control them? Because getting people to act against their own self-interest is what I do for a living. That's it, huh? We're the Patsies. 
were some kind of suicide squad. It's gonna save the world. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you in 2016. Really, really bad. This is the Graveyard Radio Show. See you guys next time.